here last year because I was getting married on the Saturday of conference. Um, I was down at the zoo, actually. You were all up here drinking and celebrating. I was looking at the emus peering in at our reception. But the last time I was here, it, it seems like it's doubled in size, Ken. Obviously, the London Labour Party has been energised both by the general election and if only the rest of Britain has done as well as London, we still have a Labour government. I'm looking through the room and I'm seeing MPs whose seats were assumed we had no chance but hung on all over our city. And although it wasn't obvious at the time, we actually had the second best result in Britain in the Euro elections the year before. Labour's building a solid base of support in London and that base will carry us to victory at City Hall in 2012 and lay, and lay the foundation for the return of a Labour government. I'm not going to lie to you and say that we can win the mayoralty in 2012 and do everything that we want to do. If we've still got this government, it will be as difficult as it was with Thatcher, if not worse. And a lot of people just assume that because Thatcher was totally inflexible, never did a U-turn, never gave in, that this is how the Tories always behave. Well, I remember Edward Heath before, who set out on a radical restructuring of Britain, tipped us into recession, panicked and did the most colossal U-turn and expanding public spending. And that's why it's important that with Labour groups in majority on office and in opposition, with the trade unions and with community organisations across London, we fight what this government's doing cut by cut, in borough by borough and line by line over this next 18 months. We... Nobody voted for me with the intention I should sit down with George Osborne and say, how can we do the cuts in a nicer way? By the time we hit that election in 19 months, London's services will have been devastated. And I intend that that election should be a referendum in which Londoners say, no more cuts. We see a different way of going forward. And if you want to look for this, because I... On my radio programme this morning, I had Andrew Gilligan. And he accused me, he accused me of being a, a deficit denier. Well, I'm not a deficit denier, but I know who caused the bloody deficit, and it wasn't public services, it was the international financial crisis, and it is an absolute obscenity that Bob Diamond is now on £11 million a year running a bank and the same people are saying we must lose jobs in our hospitals and our schools and our public services. People must see their pensions restrained. People must live without a wage increase year by year. Look to, if you want the economic analysis about the alternative. About four weeks ago, Ed Balls delivered a speech to the Bloomberg journalists that took apart, line by line, the Tories' economic strategy and pose the alternative. Nobody ever got out of a deficit by just savage cuts. They did it by going for growth. They did it by investing. We have 800,000 people in London, one person in ten, on a council waiting list. You could put 100,000 new homes into production year by year and put the best part of three quarters of a million people back in work by that building. We will fight to make certain this government goes ahead with Crossrail 1. But there's the plans for Crossrail 2 that have been promised for 40 years. A new line running from the southwest of London through Hackney and on out through the northeast. And there's Crossrail 3 which would link Euston and Waterloo. Being the mayor of a great world city is like running up the down escalator. If you stop, you're slipping behind our competitors. And it's not just New York and Paris, it's the great new cities emerging like Bombay and Shanghai and Beijing and Dubai, all competing, 
all competing for that market. And that's the tragedy of Boris Johnson, which is a tragedy for London. He isn't initiating anything. All he's doing is finishing the schemes that that eight years of my administration and the Labour group on the Assembly put in place. If Boris Johnson was to win a second term, the mayor elected in 2016 would inherit an administration with no projects underway. What we've got to do is reach out to Londoners, all classes, all boroughs, and win the economic argument. If we defeat the Tories, if Londoners can see there is a different way of tackling this economic crisis, we build the basis that takes back City Hall, takes those boroughs like Croydon, where we came so desperately close in May, but most important of all, lays the foundation for a Labour government coming to power, committed to investing in new housing, in new transport, in building the new industries of the future, those environmental industries that can create good jobs for working class and lower middle class people, jobs with decent wages, jobs with pensions. We are on a course not just to win City Hall, but to win the economic and political debate in this country. And I close on this sort of little bit of history. In 1934, Labour won the London County Council for the first time ever under Herbert Morrison. That Labour administration in the 1930s showed the rest of Britain how a welfare state could be. They dramatically improved the hospitals which were then run from County Hall, they humanised the poor law and they started a massive programme of building council housing. The rest of Britain saw London experimenting on devising how a welfare state would work. In that, hopefully only a few months, but it could stretch to three years, when we have a Labour administration at City Hall, but we still have a condemned administration in Westminster. We need to demonstrate in the way we govern, in the alliances we strike, in the schemes we lay down, and in the hopes that we inspire what a Labour government will do under Ed Miliband and the team around him. Comrades, I am going to fight with everything I have in this next 19 months to get rid of a government for London that doesn't do a damn thing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. I hope you can stay with us. Ed Miliband will